G'day, my name's Marty Ware and I'm an agricultural horticulturist right here in Australia. And if you want to learn worm farming and even learn how to grow amazing plants using worms, then please subscribe to my channel. There's lots of cool content coming up in here all the time for you to devour. G'day my friends, Marty Ware here from Marty's Garden. Just let me turn the studio light on, she's a little bit dark here. And like, just with magic, there we go, looking beautiful. Sun just come out, got a bit of rain outside. Haven't had any rain since the floods. It's been good actually, been dry. But anyway, look, today we've got something really cool for you. Yep, we're going experimental again. We're going to the bucket worm farm. One of those big buckets, you know, that you get the big paint tins in and all different types of materials and stuff. I think I bought mine for like 10 bucks, but you can find them free everywhere as long as they're nice and clean and don't have any nasty chemicals in them. You can just drill a whole lot of holes around the top and in the lid to make a lot of airflow and you've got like an awesome worm farm. Really good for night crawlers, I believe, because they're nice and deep and those night crawlers, they do like a lot of material to move through and they do like to go down deep. And I think it's all about the layers. They've got crisscrossing and maybe thinking that they're going down a bit deeper than usual. So we'll try and trick them a little bit like that. Now, why am I doing this type of worm farm? Well, I wanna show you another way to farm worms. Now, a lot of people do like this, do like this. Now, that's right. Get it right, Marty. My English teacher would have said, Marty, get out of here. <laughs> do like this. The Americans, right? Now, I'm not going to sort of put you guys in a box, the English, Americans, the Aussies, but it's where I've seen the content. And there was an old friend of mine that used to do this in buckets, and he is a really cool dude. And, yeah, he used to make for fishing worms, right? Big night crawlers. And he had all these different ways of uh, Larry something, his name was. I'll have to try and figure it look it up and find out what it is because he's a great worm farmer. He, yeah, did fishing worms in these buckets. And I thought, you know what, I can do something like that, but I'm not going to put holes in the bottom because I don't want the leachate coming out because it's just too hard to collect from the bottom of a bucket. So what I've done is, is I've decided to put more carbon in there. So I'm putting more cardboard in there. I'm sort of ripping it all up and putting it down into the bottom base to soak up that leachate that's going through and to cure it in a way so the worms will then go down and start eating it. Now what I'll have to do is I'll have to actually every now and again as they're sort of consuming that material, empty it all out, put a bit more carbon down below to soak it all up again. So I'll have to keep an eye on that, how often we have to do it because we don't want it sort of stagnating down the bottom of uh, that material. We just want that carbon, the cardboard just soaking it up all the time and making it better for the worms. And then see how long they take to breed, feed, and sort of get through it. I probably need some way, some type of book or some type of diary or something like that to uh, you know write everything down for these experiments. So let me know what you think, how I should do that, how I should document and go through it, like filing and all that type of stuff. Look, I am hopeless at that stuff, guys. So I'm gonna need some help with that. And the only thing I'm doing is the dates on the videos of when they were released, and then I can go back and look at that. So, I don't know, maybe some signs on the bucket or some stickers or, I don't know, something where we can go back and go, yeah, this is like how old, and then look at sort of how far it's come, maybe a way to document it and things like that. It's a bit boring for me, but I think that we need to do it, right? So let me know how you think I should do that down below in the comments box down below. Now let's get back to this bucket worm farm, right? So what I've done is I've grabbed a whole lot of the cured cardboard that's been brewing in the big bins and then moved it into the worm farm. I've grabbed a few handfuls of compost just to spread that biology through and give them something that they're used to because those worms come out of that area out of the big windrow and they're used to that compost and being and living in there. So it's a whole new environment for them. I caught about 100, the biggest ones I could find out of there. I'm pretty sure they're all big African night crawlers and then whacked them in the top of the bucket above sort of like all the bedding. Then covered them over with another sort of egg carton shelf sort of thin shelf or you know like a blanket, 
then poured the water over the top. Now, if you've been watching the rest of the videos, you see what I'm doing with the water and how I'm sort of sorting the water out and yeah, just taking these experiments to another level. So you need to keep watching the vlog so you don't miss parts. So you go, oh, he's doing it like this and then he's doing it like that and why he's doing it like this because there's lots of little tiny things that are going on each time and then they're going to be introduced in the next video and I can't just keep showing that and explaining that in every one so you have to go through and yeah and watch them all and I, what I'll do is I'll create a playlist for the worm nerds then I'll start putting that down below into the description area for people that uh, are missing uh, the videos so yeah I've put about a hundred of these big night crawlers in there we're going to watch how they go how they breed how they feed how many cocoons and just see if it's a worm explosion or not. I know it's a good worm farm. I know that it works before because uh, it's not the first time that I've used it. And I do have some underground worm farms as well, which are very similar to that. And maybe we'll pull them into the experimental areas as well once we get going on the line. Now, have you ever made a bucket worm farm before? Are you considering making a bucket worm farm? Do you think it's a good idea? And if you do, I think you just need to keep watching the vlogs to see how it works out. Follow along on the bucket worm farm and all the other worm farm experiments and the gardening and everything in here to see how it's coming, I reckon. And I'm looking forward to your feedback, how I can improve it. Yeah, it's like just make it better. Any little things that I can do that maybe I'm missing. Um, you know, it might just be I need to, you know, I forgot to put a little bit of dolomite in there, a little bit of calcium. Maybe I need to go back and do that at some stage. Be really interesting to see, and then we get the bedding, and then grow in the bedding, and all that type of stuff. So, I'm raving on too much here, but we do have another video coming up. I've actually decided to go and get that scoric pebble, which is the basalt lava pebble from the landscape supplies. We're gonna start growing in it, guys. So watch out for these videos coming up. It's going to be absolutely, just absolutely nuts. If you haven't subscribed, you need to get on the program now and smash that button there so you get notified each time. And leave me a big <laughs> big thumbs up, triple thumbs up, so we get that algorithm just cranking. We want to get to 50,000 subscribers, guys. That's the goal very, very shortly. I'm really going for it in here. We're going to learn lots along the way and have a lot of fun too. All right, have a great day. Happy gardening, worm farming, and we'll see you in the next vlog slash video real soon. Bye for now. After you subscribe, guys, head down and check out the links in the description area. There's a really cool video also about becoming a worm wrangler and learning all you need to know about worm farming.